Hi guys. Hi, welcome back. Um, today we are going to do Grumpy Cat or Tartar Sauce the Cat. We're going to do a birthday cake. And we're doing an icing transfer. You can see I've outlined it and I'm just filling in my colors. If you want a more in-depth way to do this, just go to my page. Um, my YouTube channel, there are quite a few. There's Cars, there's Winnie the Pooh, there's a Bob Marley, <laughs> um, there is Snoopy, there's Spongebob, um, Hello Kitty, pretty much anything you can imagine. And um, it shows you more in depth how to do it. I'm just going to do a quick one today. And we're going to finish off his little eyes. And I've got my color in my bag. And we're just going to fill in. That's all we're doing. These are real simple and easy to do. <clears throat> if you can trace, then you can definitely do one of these icing transfers. Just filling in all the little holes and gaps, making sure the icing gets all the way in the corners. I do a bunch of things here guys, mostly cakes, um, crafts, but I do throw in a recipe from time to time. So definitely check out my channel, subscribe if you haven't. Okay, and once you have it all filled in, you just place it in the freezer and then start on the next color. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and put him in the freezer for a minute and then we'll come back and we'll do his body color. We're almost done. We'll be back. Okay guys, so now we've got um, tartar sauce. She is out of the fridge and I'm just going to fill in her body color. So I'll get started on that. You can really do any character that you want with these. And you can go over your pattern now because you've got all the rest of the colors filled in. Make sure to keep the tip up out of your icing or you're just going to drag all your colors together.
almost done. It's all filled in. Now you can just take <clears throat> either the same color um, or whatever color the top of your cake is going to be and go over it one more time. We're going to go ahead and I'm just going to place this in the fridge for a few minutes and then we'll go over it uh, with one solid color and we'll be back. It's almost done. Okay guys, so it just sat in there for just a couple of minutes and you can see that <clears throat> it has hardened up a bit um, but I can still spread it and I am just going to just smooth out the top. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. just basically pushing the icing <clears throat> into the open areas okay and that's all there is to it now um, we're gonna get our cake ready and we'll ice our cake and we'll keep this in the freezer in the meantime we'll cover it with some saran wrap or some plastic wrap and then we'll come back and we'll finish up our cake. We'll be back. Just so you can see that a little better. It's just flat. And we'll come back in once we place this on the cake and we'll add the whiskers. And just to show you the other side real quickly, you probably do want to check the other side of your transfer just to make sure that it's coming out okay. See if I can twist it in here so that you guys can see that. But you can see it's come out pretty nicely. That's the part that you're actually going to see on the cake. Okay, so the part that we just iced, uh, this part right here is actually going to be laying up against the cake. So we're going to place this in the freezer, and like I said, once we get our cake baked, I'll come back, we'll ice it, and uh, We'll continue on with our cake. We'll be back. Hey guys, so I have my two layer chocolate cakes out of the oven and um, they have completely cooled. I have it set up on my board with some wax paper and I placed some chocolate buttercream on top. We are going to fill this with the chocolate buttercream and what I'm going to do is just, uh, I have leveled this cake first of all to let you know it has been leveled and I placed the cut side down. So the cut side is against the board. And then that way we don't have as many crumbs. And yes, I probably need to pull out my turntable, but uh, this was the only board right now that I had. And since it's so uh, long, it's not going to really do me a whole lot of good to pull out that turntable. So we just want a decent amount, a pretty thick layer of our buttercream. And I'm going to grab some more. That's just flour <clears throat> from my pan on the edge of my cake. Um, sometimes if you don't like that, which it doesn't matter, um, but if you don't like it, you can always dust your pan in cocoa powder instead of in flour. Okay, and you want to make sure that you push this icing all the way to the edge.
if some comes out uh, when we place the top layer on, that's fine. That's going to help us defrost our cake and make it our job a little bit easier. Now when you're frosting your cake, remember that your inside layer does not matter as far as it being smooth because we're just going to place another layer of cake on top. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my other layer and uh, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have um, leveled my second layer and I have a paper towel under it just to help me move it and to center it on top of this one. Um, again, we're going to do the cut side down, okay? And that's just going to make it a whole lot easier for us because those crumbs will be on the inside of the cake, okay? And it also gives you a flatter top and flatter sides because you have more of the uh, square surface on top from the pan. Okay, the sharper edges and the flat bottom. Okay, so now I'm just going to get my icing ready. We're going to use a different type of fudge icing and it's going to be a fudge buttercream and we're going to use that to frost the cake and if we need to do a crumb coat to do a crumb coat. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I've just added my icing, my buttercream to the top of my cake and I want to frost the top the same way. Buttercream all the way to the edge and then we'll let, we'll let it fall over. That way it'll help us to ice the sides of the cake. If you pick it up like that, it's okay. Just smooth it back over. <clears throat> that generally means you're pressing a little too hard. So now we're going to do the sides of the cake. And I'm going to get my buttercream. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, my icing has been applied. And I've done that all the way around the sides and the top. Now I'm just going to go in and smooth the top. We're going to clean our knife with every pass. Okay. And then you're just going to go all the way around the cake. Alright, and just, you're going to swoop in and lift up. And you're just going to, again there's a lip, just swoop in and lift up. And then just make sure with every pass you clean your knife. If you want to know exactly how to do a crumb coat, um, go search my YouTube channel. There is a video that shows you that whole process step by step. This also removes quite a bit of the icing as well. 
So you want to make sure that you do apply it um, thick in the beginning because you are going to remove quite a bit during this step. Okay, all the way around. <clears throat> all the way back to where I started. And now I'm just going to do a smoothing. Of the cake. It doesn't have to be 100% um, perfect at this point because we are going to be placing our design on the top. Okay. And honestly, the trick is even pressure. So just go back in and smooth out any areas that may have gotten a little uneven. All right, now we are going to add our butter trans buttercream transfer and we're going to decorate the sides of our cake and it'll be ready for the birthday party. We'll be back. Hey guys, so there's our cake. Um, I just did a border around the bottom and a star border around the top. Now I'm going to pull out our frozen buttercream transfer and I'm going to place it on top. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so there is Tard the Grumpy Cat and our finished birthday cake. Um, it's just going to, I'm going to write Crappy Birthday Alicia and Blake and uh, I think that's pretty appropriate and fitting. I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to rate uh, the video with a thumbs up for the Grumpy Cat and share on Facebook and Twitter with all your friends and family. I appreciate all the support and great comments. If you have any suggestions, don't forget to leave them down below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Happy birthday, Blake and Alicia. From Tard.